Now, if you're looking for your first 3D printer or maybe one that just won't break the bank, then you may well have just found what you're looking for. We've got the Elogu Centuri Carbon. This thing looks nice, it prints nice, and it only costs $299. Let's check this thing out. So first off, let's talk specs. It's got a total printable area of 256 by 256 by 256 mil square. The hot end features a hardened steel nozzle, which is capable of getting up to 320 degrees C. It also has a heated bed that's capable of getting up to 120 degrees C. You've actually got a nice double-sided flexible magnetic bill plate. You've got a nice responsive, easy to use 4.3 inch touchscreen. It actually features four pressure sensors for automatic bed leveling. It's got a built-in camera for monitoring your builds as you're printing, and it also features an inbuilt light. It also has a Wi-Fi connection, so you can do remote printing via the Elegoo Slicer software. So included in the box with the printer, you get your power cable, you get your user manual, you get a quick setup user guide, you get a nice little bag of goodies, which includes a build platform glue stick, some grease, some Allen wrenches and a couple of screwdrivers, and a little USB drive, which has some samples on there and the Elego Slicer software. Installation was actually really simple. You just need to remove those three screws which hold the bed down uh, with the included tools. You also install the spool holder, which is just mounted on the side that holds your filament in place. You also just need to install the touchscreen, which you do so by attaching the ribbon on the rear and then just slotting it into place and pushing it down. And then you just feed your filament into the filament detector and just push it all the way through until it comes out on the other end. And then on the rear of the printer, you got your power switch and your plug socket, you got your excess chute and you got your air filter and your fan vent. Now, when you first turn it on, it will go through like a self-checking process, which I think it took about 20 odd minutes for it to do. It was a little bit loud as it went through doing all the self-checking and the self-leveling and stuff like that. Uh, but you'll see it all kind of come up on the screen and it'll prompt you to go through everything on the screen. Now, I do like the fact that the door's magnetic as well. So as you open it, you can see you've got this magnetic strip here. It shuts and opens really nicely. The top panel also lifts off as well for easy access and maintenance. So you can see we've got that nice, flexible, uh, double-sided textured plate. I do like how easy it is just to line that plate up as well. It just pops back into place with the magnets, which is really nice. Now I'm completely new to 3D printing. I'm a complete novice. So I was happy with how easy it was to get to grips with this printer. I mean, I did have to read the manual and I did reach out to my mate Wayne from Crawlstuck RC to send him a few late night messages and say, what does this mean? What does that mean? But once I got my head around it, you know, it was really easy just to start printing. Now I've already printed a few things off. Now I have printed a Benchy. This sample was included on the USB drive. Now <laughs> I'd never heard of a Benchy before. <laughs> when I was talking to Wayne, he was like, well, have you printed a Benchy yet? And I was like, what's a Benchy? And he was like, it's only like the most commonly printed thing in 3D printing. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm a complete novice. Uh, but yeah, I think the quality looks really, really good. I mean, again, let me know in the comments if you're a more experienced uh, 3D printer than I am. You know, let me know, does that look decent quality? There was a tiny little bit of stringing and stuff like that, and you can see a little, you know, a few bits on the corners. But I mean, otherwise, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. I think that looks really, really good. I also printed off the sample Buddha as well, which comes on the USB drive, and I think that looks really good as well. Now I'm mainly going to be using this for printing like accessories for RC cars and stuff like that because that's mainly what I do on the channel and I'm also looking forward to doing some like body builds and stuff and these are a couple of things that I've printed already again really easy I just downloaded the STL files from like Thingiverse and then basically imported them into the Slicer app and you know just exported them as like the G-code is it uh, popped it on the USB drive, plugged it in, and yeah, it was super easy. And I mean, the quality on this uh, sand ladder, I think just looks absolutely fantastic. You can see there's a little bit of cracking there on the sides, but I don't know if that's just because of how many layers or what. Again, I'm a complete novice, but you know, I think that looks actually really, really nice. Also, if you know me on the channel, you know I'm partial to a bucket on my RC. So when I saw this online, I was like, yes, I have to print a bucket. And this just looks so cool. I was amazed that it even managed to get the little holes and everything as well. And like, again, I haven't done anything with that. That is literally how it printed on the bed. And I just popped it off the bed. And yeah, I was really impressed with that. So before you start printing, just go through the instructions. But effectively, if we go to this option here, you can see you've got the extruder settings there. So you can feed the filament in and out. You can also see if you go to the extruder option here, you can preset the temperature that you want to printing it to as well. So like for this one, it'd be 220 degrees. 
Now, in terms of then actually printing something, you know, you could just basically go to the folder option. You can see things that we've got locally on the printer. You've got the USB drive option, which I'll show you in a second. And then we could go to print history and we could see the previously printed things. You can see for that bucket, it only took 10 minutes. And for our benchy, it just took 15 minutes to print this benchy, you know, which um, uh, hopefully is, is really, really good. But again, let me know in the comments if you're more experienced than me. Is that a good 15 minutes for a benchy that looks like this? So if we want to print something off the USB drive, just pop it in. And then we're basically going to click the folder option, go to USB drive. I've got more of mine in a folder. We can see the different things that we've got on there. So I've just got three things that I've been printing. So we're going to print another bucket because you can never have enough buckets. You can see the different options you've got down here. So we could choose what side of the build plate we're going to print on. So we're going to go for side A. You could, if you wanted to turn on the camera for your time-lapse photography, you can level it and then you can basically hit print to get it started. Now, what I will do is I would just show you what it sounds like with the door closed and with the door open so you can get a gauge of how loud it is. So if we just hit print, it'll get started. Okay, so this is how loud it is with the door closed. It's printing away. And then if we open the door, You can hear it's quite a bit louder with the door open. So we got all finished, we got our printed bucket. You can hear once it's stopped printing, you know, it's just that little bit of fan noise in the background if you can hear it. And then you can see there, look, they just took 10 minutes and 39 seconds to complete the print. And it says, asking if you want to print another one, we can either do cancel or print again. What I do like about this as well is it's nice and easy to get things off the bed. Then you just basically just pop it off. You don't even have to, you know, look at that. Just straight off, straight away. And look at the quality of that. I mean, that looks really, really good. You can see we've got, I don't know if you can see on the camera, they've got a tiny bit of stringing there between the two um, arms for the bucket. But I mean, otherwise that is really, really good, isn't it? You know, we've just literally printed that in 10 minutes and 39 seconds. Uh, it still amazes me, this old 3D printing. It's just so cool. Well, for my first 3D printer, I am really happy with it. I love the way it looks. I do like how quick it is. Uh, you know, okay, it is a little bit noisy, but it's not like excessively noisy. You know, I've been in the same room and I've not like got my fingers in my ears or anything like that. I've been really happy with the print quality of the things that I've printed off so far. You know, I do think they look decent. Uh, again, if you're a more experienced 3D printer than I am, then let me know what you think of the machine and what you think of the quality of what I have printed so far. You know, I've got about two hours of printing now into it with all the things I've printed and I've had no issues. Everything's just printed absolutely fine. So yeah, so far, a really good experience. Now I'll put a link in the description to where you can read more about it and pick one up for yourself if you're interested in getting one. Also, if there are any 3D printer gurus out there that could recommend the best kind of software to use, I would love to be able to modify this to replace the Jeep with like Do You RC, uh, so I could stick them on my crawlers and stuff. I think that'd be awesome. So yeah, if you can make any recommendations or hints on how you do that and what software to use, then let me know in the comments. That'd be awesome. Oh, the only thing I forgot to mention as well when I was doing it was uh, I did notice on this side panel here, I don't know if you could see it when I was doing any of the kind of like feature or anything, but there was a kind of like a little bulge on the side. Now, I don't know if that was just when the panel's been fitted or the box was a little bit bad. I think the postman had tried to play football with this. So I don't know if it just got a bit beat up in the in postage, but yeah, there's just a little kind of little bulge on the side, but that's it. You know, otherwise it, everything looks fine. Now, if you're a regular view on the channel, I'm really looking forward to doing some like builds with this. So I want to print some like 3D bodies and some really old retro kind of crawlers and stuff like that, some overland rigs and things. So yeah, stay tuned to the channel for that because I will be doing some little project builds and everything soon. But anyway, I hope you found the video useful. If you did give us a like, drop me a comment if you've got any questions. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you on the next one.